unique, especially in classics. It's a 1973 Dodge Challenger. Now has a 360 underneath the hood. Power steering, power brakes. Motor is paired up with a 727 automatic transmission. Let's go ahead and take a look at the front bumper. Grill. Chrome looks good. As you can see, TA style fiberglass hood. If you want to take a look at the still pictures, so you can see this car from every angle, undersides, interior, engine bay, trunk, still pictures, unique classiccars.com. Click on the link down below this video in the description. It's going to take you right there. And of course, you can call us 507 386 1726. Has had a repaint to the yellow and black combination. Riding on American Racing torque thrust style wheels. You can see disc brakes up front. And paint shows well on this one. You can see nice and straight down the passenger side here. Interior black vinyl buckets. Shifter on the floor. We'll get around to the driver's side. Check out the interior a little closer. Start it up, let you hear it run. But first, remember we do consider trades. Financing is available. Of course, we can assist with transportation, and this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Some extras that are going to go with this. There's some grill and trim components wrapped up in that bundle right there. Looks like passenger side of the dash, seat covers, some miscellaneous parts. Those will be included in the trunk. And again, still pictures, unique, classiccars.com. Get a look at the rear chrome. That phone number to call, 507-386-1726. Let's take a look from the driver's side, rear to front. See, really free of any major nicks, dings, or scratches. Just want to get in and drive, have some fun. Local roll-ins, cruise-ins, local shows. This one does have the sure grip rear end. Door panels. Be in good shape. Seats appear to have been recovered. In vinyl buckets. You'll be able to see, there's probably over 100 pictures of this car online. So you'll be able to see every angle of the interior also. Aftermarket tack mounted on the steering column. I did have the radio working, wipers work, blower fan working. Let's go ahead and fire this up. It's a good sounding car. She starts easily. Aftermarket stereo, you see that is working. A little aftermarket gauge cluster. Water temp and oil pressure. Oil pressure looks good. Very responsive. Take a look at the headliner and the 6x9s and the rear deck. closes nicely. Listen to this. There you go. This one will turn some heads, no doubt about that. I'm going to slip up to the front. Let's get the hood pins out, get the hood open. Let's check out this engine bay. We'll wrap up this video. Underside of the hood, again, glass hood. Challenger TA style hood. Here we go. Battery disconnection, you can see. Again, now 360 underneath the hood. Edelbrock intake, Holly four barrel. Power steering, power brake. MSD ignition. Headers. Smooth runner. Out about that. Nineteen seventy three Dodge Challenger.
theclassiccars.com. Click on the link down below the video in the description. It's going to take you right there. 507-386-1726. And remember, we do consider trades. Financing is available. First, we can assist with transportation. And this vehicle may be eligible for an extended service contract. Consult with your sales associate when you call in or email. Hey, did you know that this car qualifies for an extended warranty? It's just like the one you get at your new car dealership, except it covers your classic car instead. It covers all the major components like engine, transmission, drivetrain, and you can get coverage up to 10 years. Repairs aren't cheap. These extended warranties are a no-brainer. Contact us for a quote on this car today. Today we have a 1973 Dodge Challenger. Great looking car, yellow and black. The black interior. As you can see, it is winter in Minnesota, but the roads are primarily dry and we do wash our vehicles so we can do these driving videos for you. We have a tack mounted right on the column that is working. Speedometer works. Under the dash we have a water temp that's reading just about 150. Oil pressure at 60. Let's see how she does on the road.